is about the clear feet for the L8 series. L27, the clear foot with tape guide, is for overlock machines of the L8 series. The markings relate to the left and right needle and the cutting line at cutting width 6. The tape guide suits tapes up to 10 mm width. C27, the clear foot with tape guide, is for the L890 overlock cover stitch combo machine. The markings show the cover stitch and overlock needle positions and the cutting line at cutting width 6. The tape guide suits tapes up to 14 mm width. In our example we show sewing a tape. This example is sewn with 4 thread overlock. Attach the clear foot. Swing the foot out. Thread the tape end into the front guide from above and lay it under the foot to the back. Swing the foot back and lower it. Sew a few stitches to stabilize the tape. Depending on the project, place fabric right or wrong side up, having excess seam allowance trimmed. Our tip if the reflection on the fabric is too much, turn the sewing light off. Tape and fabric shall be fed regularly. If required, adjust differential feed. Reinforced or decorative edges are sewn evenly and quickly. The example sewing a tape onto fabric with cover or chain stitch is possible on the L890 only. We are using the narrow cover stitch number 24 for our example. Swing the foot out and thread the tape. Swing the foot back. Place the fabric right side up under the presser foot and lower it. While sewing, Check that at least one needle stitches through the tape. Adjust the differential feed depending on tape and fabric to achieve the desired result. The tape shall not be towed. unless the gathering effect is intentional. Soft fabrics gather better than stiff material. Together set differential feet to two. Using maximal stitch length of 4.5 increases the gathering effect. Depending on the desired effect, 
use elastic tape or soft knit strips. Project related, place the fabric right or wrong side up. While sewing, make sure that at least one needle stitches through the tape. Successfully sew practical or decorative seams. Sewing a decorative cover stitch or chain stitch along a marking is possible on the L890 only. Our example shows the use of the narrow cover stitch with metallic thread in the looper. When using decorative thread in the looper, mark the sewing line on the wrong side of the fabric. When starting to sew at the fabric edge, use a supporting scrap at stitching begin. Guide the fabric keeping the mark aligned with the needles. Our tip, if the reflection on the fabric is too much, turn the sewing light off. Decorative threads when sewing cover stitch is shown in video L890 Stitch Optimizer. The clear feet provide better visibility onto the stitching area. Bernina, made to create.